So I just hate having to open up the entire can of lacquer just to put some finish on a pen once I just lathed it down. So what we're gonna do is we can put some lacquer in such a in this small bottle because you don't need very much. If I'm just putting a little bit on a pen blank, I can use this bottle, get a small amount on there, and it'll be more controlled and a lot easier than having to open up an entire The trick can. is gonna be getting it into this bottle without spilling it everywhere. So we have this small funnel here, and then I'm gonna use this small beaker just to carefully scoop it up and pour it in. Go ahead and open up the can, and every time you put the lacquer away, you wanna make sure you clean off this lip around here. If you don't, then the lacquer could kind of seat in there and then it won't seal and then the lacquer will dry. Well, I can definitely smell it. It has a very strong smell. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up and make sure it has a, just a nice even color to it. So that's important that it has all everything it needs in the bottle. When I was stirring it, I got some in the little ridge here. So I'm just gonna take a rag and clean that out what I found you can do is just take a screwdriver and push the rag in there and that helps you clean it out. Now we'll scoop up some of the lacquer in the beaker and pour it in. Alright, so I have it filled up just about the whole way and I didn't get any on the threads, it didn't make a huge mess. So this method here works. So just some of the stuff that I have on the rag whenever we were cleaning it off and keeping it from dripping, I'm just gonna use on the first coat of my slingshot. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit of lacquer on it. It does kind of feel weird almost putting lacquer on plywood, but you know, I put a lot of work into sanding this. I think it's worth it. I think it actually looks pretty nice for plywood. So I like using just a rag to apply the lacquer onto the uh, object. It's nice because we'll wipe it on like this and then we'll just take it and try to wipe all that back off. And that just gives us a nice even like a satin finish and we don't have to worry about it running. So I'm just wiping it on and then we'll do multiple coats like so now this. Now I can go ahead and pull out the funnel here. It looks like I filled it up just perfect. Wipe that off. And that did not make much of a mess. That's what we wanted. And there's none on the thread. Flip the tip of it off so we can use it. And there's not too big of a hole in there. So we have a lot of control over how much we can put out. So now we can go ahead and thread this cap on and put the cap on top of here. And now it's ready for use. So now I can apply a little bit of this onto the slingshot. This is its second coat now. And that's actually the perfect sized hole. I can just put a little bit on and then wipe it in. So now we can go ahead and pull this stir rod out. And this is actually just a piece of copper. But since it's metal, I'm just able to wipe it off. And then with the lacquer that was on here, got a little on my hand. But then with that, I can use it on the slingshot. And we'll just wipe this in. And this is its second coat, and it's starting to look pretty nice. Now with this little bottle, I don't have to just make a mess, get this entire thing out, just to use a little bit of lacquer. I'm going to put this lid back on here because it is really strong. And one more precaution to make sure that this doesn't just harden on the top or layer. What we do is we just shake it just a little bit, and that puts a layer on the top. And when that, that'll just harden a little bit, and that just gives us an extra seal. So that won't just harden the whole bottle. That would be bad. And that's why it's also nicer to have a small bottle. We don't have to open this and close it and risk having this all harden. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. And now we'll go ahead and wipe on the third coat. And this really is looking nice. I didn't know plywood could I mean, look this nice. It actually looks nice.